Here we're going to look at notes receivable with an asset on the balance sheet and how we record the revenues to notes receivable, which is part of net income on the income statement. Uh, for this example, we're going to have a notes receivable here with a $4,000 lump sum that we receive at the end of the uh, fourth year. So let's look, go look at the um, cash flow diagram for that. Here's our $4,000 that we receive at the end of the fourth year and we discount that back at the um, effective interest rate to determine its present value at the beginning of the first year. We take that present value amount and we record it here as a credit or an increase to notes receivable and that would be $2,732. Okay, so we look at the notes receivable of $4,000 debit balance here with the uh, $2,732 credit balance here in the revenues account and we have to make up or balance the difference here in what they call a discount to notes receivable of $1,268. That would be um, the credit here of 1268 plus the 2732 credit here equals our debit amount of $4,000. Now that takes care of year one. Everything balances. Now in the next years we have to, next following years we have to recognize our interest revenue on that notes receivable. In this case I use the uh, effective interest rate method to determine it. So here we have our interest revenue and then uh, the present value that we recorded on in the beginning of year one here and you add those together and you get a four thousand uh, dollar notes receivable revenues which balances with the notes receivable of four thousand dollars. Now this interest revenue uh, was a result here of the four thousand uh, dollars uh, revenue that, or payment that we receive at the end of the fourth year and uh, the difference here at 2732. So we take the difference between those two amounts and we get $1,268. So that is the uh, interest earned on this notes receivable that we have to allocate to the, uh, the revenues earned here. Now that we have the revenues earned, uh, we recorded that, we need a, uh, a balancing entry for our credits to notes receivable for those interest earns. Okay, this is where we use the discount to notes receivable. And this discount to notes receivable is a contra account, a contra account to notes receivable. That is, the a debit here would be a minus here is a debit plus here, and a credit minus here is a credit plus here. So what this discount does is it reduces the um, notes receivable amount. All right, let's look at uh, that balancing entry here for those interest earned. So here we'd have we record our interest earned as a for each of those four years as a reduction to our notes receivable. So at the end of the fourth year we'd have a zero balance in our notes receivable here. A debit balance of 20, uh, 1268 uh, opposed to the credit balance here of 1268. Zero balance. Let's look here at the uh, uh, discount uh, to notes receivable, its effect here on the notes receivable net amount. So in the beginning of year one, we had a discount amount of 1268, and that would reduce our notes receivable here to $2,732. Now each year that we recognize that revenue or interest earned as revenue, that would reduce our discount uh, to notes receivable amount. At the end of the fourth year, we'd have a zero amount in our discount to notes, uh, discount to notes receivable. Now that would, this discount, as it reduces, it actually increases our notes receivable amount here. So uh, that the notes receivable starts out at 2732 and at the end of the fourth year, it has a, an amount here of $4,000. And that's what we would be receiving at the end of the fourth year. So just in summary here, uh, we look at this discount here to notes receivable. And that, has, that was our balancing. You, we use that as our balancing entry between the notes receivable, which was the asset account, and our note, notes receivable revenue here, which was part of our net income. All right, so that's just a summary on how you would record our notes receivable and use the discount to notes receivable as a balancing account.